Good, good morning, good morning, gentlemen and ladies. How are you? How are you? How are you? Good, morning. good morning, sir. Good morning. Thank you, sir. Good morning, 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 sir. You have to put up your first vehicle. Don't you come to this stand I have to allow you to start. Please go and then you are good. Okay? If you only respond to what I ask you, don't try to communicate with your friends. So I think we can start the class. Mm-hmm. Are we start now? Mm-hmm. Are you ready now? Start the class. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. What is other class? Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, let me start the class. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll start the class straight away now. So, we can remind me the last topic. Okay, the last topic. So, you put your answer in the chat box. What's our last topic of discussion? Okay, let me have your answer in the chat box. Our last topic of discussion. Our last topic of discussion. Let me have your answer in the chat box. Yes, you can put down the note if you are fast enough. You can put down the note. You can put down the note if you are fast enough. Yeah, no big deal that. Okay. No private discussion, please. It's, our discussion should be basically academic. So I'm waiting for you. Our last topic. I'm waiting for you to tell me the last topic. Stop private discussions. Stop private chatting. How will we write it when we are a bit? I don't get what you said. I don't get that. I mean, I will I mean, I will Can you ask your question again? Put it for someone to remind us of our last week's topic before we continue.
Ten months. We had now. We got now. Please, be careful. Stop sending rubbish. I hope you guys can hear me. Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear me? You can hear me. What is the last topic of discussion? Last topic, anybody? Put your answer in the box, chat box. Iman, be careful. Ah, thank you. Okay. Praise, uniqueness of human being. Okay, uniqueness of human being. Omena, science is biology. No, 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 it's basic science. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, we we'll discuss the uniqueness of human being now. We said that human beings, so we are animals, so we are animals. Yeah, thank you, Senna. Thank you, Senna. Uniqueness of human being. Thank you. No, uh, on the short day, I'm introduced, sir. On most of us, well, maybe after the class, maybe like five, ten minutes, then I can do that. But for now, to maintain sense, we have to remain with it so that you listen and follow. Okay, now, uniqueness of human being. We said that human beings, we are unique in some certain ways. That unlike the other animals, we too are animals, but unlike the other animals like bears, like snakes, like lions, people, and animals, we are unique, and that we belong to a special class of animal known as mammalia. Mammalia. We belong to the class mammalia. Now, tell me from class class the characteristics of mammals that we learned, even though, and they are still with you. Characteristics of mammals. Let's go. I'm waiting for you to type the responses in the box. Characteristics of mammals. Characteristics of mammals. Type in the box. Movement. Yeah, the movement with words. That's Christian, uh, Victor, Vaseki. Movement, what do they use? Lebron, they have four. Thank you. They have four. Senna, thank you. Praise, they can walk on two legs. Thank you. Adina Yatonti, they give back to their young ones alive. Thank you. They don't lay eggs. That's RG. Same thing. Lebron, they have hair on their skin. They have four. Yeah, thank you. Okay, with the use limbs to move ahead. Thank you. That's uh, where all animals die. They can reproduce. Omena. Omena. Yeah, they reproduce. They reproduce their young ones alive. They have a large. Cerebral. Thank you. They breastfeed their young ones. Thank you, Senna. Thank you, Senna. I like that. I like that. Ah, should be the absence of humor. Wow. Right. They have nice, uh, irritability. Ah, they have bread. They don't have clothes. You, you, are, you are missing them up now. You are missing them up. You are missing them up. You have started giving me the ones of, uh, uh, of primates. Okay. They can go. I said they can go. They have two legs. Asan, Asan Kasim. They have they have communication better each other. They have they can communicate with well. Daniel and Adilo. Uh, some of you have forgotten. Mr. Nedja D C Gioni. You do that. Please write your name. Replace Gioni with your name so that we know who we are chatting. Sam Ibrahim dead. Sam Ibrahim, Mr. Nedja D. I usually have 64. So if you were in the last class, you see that. I gave you the characteristics of mama to include, and that's what I want to bring on the screen now. Yeah, this is, this is the answer to the question I asked you. They have a or four or part of, certain part of their body. They give birth to their young ones alive. They breastfeed their young one with milk from the mammary gland. I think that scientifically, uh, the part that is called the breast is what is called mammary gland in science, and they have well developed nervous system or brain. So these are the characteristics of mammals which we identified during the last class. Now, if we put this together, that they have four, they give birth to the young one alive, they prefer the young one with me, they have well developed nervous system. Give me examples of mammals now. Examples of mammals. So um, this one, now, they have a of four of certain parts of their body. You just say e.g. social animal, right? They give birth to their young ones alive, e.g. social animals. I'm waiting. Ima, please sir, go to the previous slide. The previous slide, 
that's introduction this is uniqueness of human being praise we said homo sapiens that's man rg said dolphin that's correct praise you said lion you are right ronaldo please put your correct name Samuel, you said lion the president ah, please mr president put your correct name you put president underscore eg please put your correct name christian victor they give back to them one alive eg lion thank you you have christian follow the format i asked you to do that when you mention that characteristics you now say eg you give me the animal thank you christian christian the first person to command to follow the format to the letter thank you Alima, sir, I can't hear you properly. I may be the network. Sorry about that. The president underscore ED, please put your real name. Sir, my Ibrahim, sir, I can't hear you properly. Can you use your earpiece, please? Maybe it's the network. Sorry about that. Please don't insult anybody. Oderino, Oderino, be careful. Oderino, be careful. Don't insult anybody here. Yeah. I've just been told in the studio yet that my post is cracking. Maybe it's the next one, sorry. Salma Ibrahim, <laughs> you are singing and breaking, sir. Praise, Gorilla Apes, almost a pen. Ronaldo, they are false. Yeah, thank you. You follow the format too. Thank you, Ronaldo. You are breaking in, man. Yeah, sorry about that. Spider Man. Who is Spider Man? Spider Man is M Daddy. Please put your correct name. And what was the name of M Daddy? Okay. <laughs> Mashud Lawa, okay, welcome. Okay. Then, after we learned the criteria of Mama during the last class, okay, I, 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 I hope I'm not skipping, we, we established the fact that human, though we belong to the class Mamalia, we now belong to a special group of Mama known as the primate record. That's, yes, we are Mama. And you have reminded me some of the criteria of mama that we learned during the last class. You know, I said that, okay, in this group of mama, again, now, human beings will now belong to a special group known as the primates. Tell me the criteria of primates. Uh, Abdul Salam, you type your question. Say you have a question. Abdul Salam, please type the question. Please, I go to the previous slide. Uh, the previous slide, criteria of mama. Uh, uh, this is it. Okay, so people have started responding to my question of the criteria of primate. They have no clue. Thank you, Amida Kukola. Uh, Ronaldo, your voice is not clear. Well, maybe it's natural. Bright, larger brain to body ratio. Thank you. That's correct. Don't see they can stand upright. You are right. Our different are advanced animal. That's the, you are, that's explanation, not a characteristic. The fish, so that's not a fish. You are just trying to explain that they are advanced animal. Yeah, they are higher animal, so to say. But characteristic features. How does communication between animal theory? Absolutely. When we get to communication, uh, uh, we answer your question. Absolutely. Their brains are advanced. Yes, Daniel. Thank you. Claw, which I bought from Platinum. Okay. They can think, Ronaldo, yeah. Alima, still on my phone as well. Uh, sorry, I can't hear a thing. Wow, King James, you can't hear a thing. Please use your headphone. Use your headphone. I didn't know you to see the happiness. Thank you. Primates are mamas, therefore, that are more complex. Yes, explanation about the, fact, the particular feature that make them to be more complex than mamas. I want. I have a question, Sam Ibrahim asked. Tendency to hold body upright. Thank you, Bright. Thank you. One more. Sir, a gorilla is also primate. I will show you the images now. They grab things with their hands. Abiba. Okay, let's see. 
yeah, here are the characteristics of primates. As remember, they have no claws. One of you mentioned that they grab things with their hands. Yeah, I can still see Abiba, they grab things with their hands. I said, they possess nets on their hands and feet. They can stand and walk upright. Someone said that. Please, I have the question. Please, for me. Simon, type the question. They have eyes in front of their heads. So, nobody remember to mention that. E.g., example, I remember me baboon and chimpanzee. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Human being and other primates. Then I often establish the fact that we belong to the special group of mama known as primates. We should say that even there are some pictures again that the other primates do not have, but we have as human, that now make us to be exceptionally unique. Here we have one, two, three. I want to take it even now briefly. Okay. All right, I just move away from this now. Recall those features that I just flashed now that make us extremely unique from the other from the other primates. Aha. Ronaldo, are you the one that asked about Gorilla before? So he now said yes because we can we have seen their images. Uh, let me show you this image. Okay, you can see they are here now. No, absolutely uh, their children come out from their mammary gland. That's not correct. <laughs> the children cannot come out from their mammary gland. The mammary gland, I told you that the English word for mammary gland is breast. That's the English word for mammary gland. The English word for mammary gland is breast. Uh, so the children cannot come out from their breasts. Understand? Uh, but they feed their young ones with milk from their mammary gland. If you want to say the children come out, then it means the children come out from their body alive. So they give back to their boy, to their young ones alive. Obaseki, they are fed with mammary gland. Huh? They are fed with mammary gland. Not the uh, primates that are fed with mammary gland, but they feed their young ones with milk from their mammary gland. Let's mind our uh, grammar construction. Yeah, that's why their mama already yes. They are fed with me for my hand. Thank you. They have created it. So how do dogs give birth? Dogs, how do they give birth? They give birth to their young ones alive, so they don't lay eggs. They to our mass. So is there something that there is half man, half animal? One slide will be compared with four, while the other half will be the half, half animal or half whatever you said. All those ones are possible maybe in your cartoon, uh, at least in the other land. <laughs> Ask your dog over there. No, no, no. When in the, in the class, please don't insult anybody. Uh -huh, yeah. How is milk? How is milk produced from? Oh, you mean where is milk produced from? Milk is produced from the mammary gland. So there is an homo called uh, oxytocin. That's the one that is responsible for milk like that. So as soon as a female animal, a female mammal is pregnant, the uh, mammary gland, I told you that's depressed, begins to develop, begin to enlarge. Then the brain we send message that to the mammary gland to start producing meat that this female animal is pregnant and by the time this female animal goes to bed, then it, you need to feed the young one with meat and the meat is, that, that's what I'm explaining, and Iman, how is the meat produced, that's what I'm saying. And oxytocin will now be secreted and it will help in the meat flowing. So the baby is born with instinct to suck. So the baby is Socks and the milk flows directly. Can't see you. Read one, Arasi. You cannot see me. Wow, sorry. Uh, Ray, Ash, please, Bright, are you a ghost? Don't be insulting. Don't insult anybody. But more like, okay. How does it get to the normal? How does it get there? Oxytocin sends message to the brain. Brain sends message to the uh, mammary gland. This, there's a baby on the way. The baby needs to be fed with me. So the milk comes. Iman, you stole my question. No worry. Maybe it's, it's, it's supposed to help you to ask me again. I cannot see what you are. You see, yeah, but I'm just trying to ask to recall the image, I mean, the presentation I show you about the things that make human beings special primate. Okay, I've come to the place now. So, oh, you, you didn't tell me, but I was reading your response. Okay, they have a score shape, but for which enable them to stand upright, confidently, confidently. 
I will show you that image again about the baboons and some of that. The human beings habitually walk uprightly. So it's our habit, not we don't do it conditionally. We have other animals that they do it conditionally. Maybe when condition or system calls for it, you can see here now. You can see this going like here, standing, um, monkey standing upright. But normally, and at times again, they can still go down on the on four. Maybe when they need to climb, they go on their they go on for that they lose the four name and the in name. But human, I mean human, they are they are they stand up habitually. So it's not normal for an adult human to still be walking on the four. We go for the battle. So, sorry about that. We are, we are back on that. Okay, then that human being will have unique intellectual capacity which enables us to think, plan, and solve problems. Okay, then our brain is large, much larger and more complex than the other for the other animal. I think one of you said it said that uh, it's large yeah I, I saw it then we have elaborate form of culture and communication we can communicate then someone asked about communication between other animals please can you resend the question you asked a, a question about communication and i think that when we revise it Okay, we are back. If you can hear me now, please signify. I can hear you. Thank you, Senna. Yeah, King James, thank you. Okay, so we can continue then. All right, they can precisely manipulate. Sama, I can hear you say Sama. Jim, I can hear you. If you should send me, no. that there you will concentrate. Please stop sending private messages here now. Private messages should be afforded now.
Yeah, I think the sound should be better now. There should be no echo now. Okay. That human, we can precisely manipulate small objects, and our true structure is in such a way that it makes speech possible. So that distinguishes us from other animals. It's our, our, we can make speech because of our throat structure. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, then how have we been able to put this uniqueness into use? We remember the last class, we said that we make different scientific tools and equipment for further scientific study. We are able to develop speech and language we pass accumulated knowledge to our children. We can educate our children. We can express our thoughts, desire, and share ideas. And uh, I remember last class, we said that we are able to modify our environment to suit us. When we feel cold, we look for something odd. We put on uh, more clothes. And when we feel hot, we try to reduce the all of clothing we put on, we take shower, and we do a lot of things that will make us to feel comfortable. Not many other animals can do that. And another one is that we don't eat our food raw most of the time, like other animals. We cook our food. We cook our food. Please, no, no, don't be careful, Lam Jamel. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. Then the second one, which we call it length during the last class, was that human beings we are able to observe. When we observe, we now we notice problem and we try to provide solution. You remember I told you about the scientific attitude that as a scientist, you use your sense organs for observation. And I told you that there is one that is least used, that you use it only as the last resort. I'm waiting for you to tell me which of the sense organ that you least use as a scientist. I'm waiting for your responses. No private shot, please. Academics now, okay? Now, the sense organ that, Tsukbamu uh, Abdullah said no, uh, that is not very correct. The one that you least use. Skin, no, for scientific studies. Ah, you are telling me the sense of gas, uh, skin. Uh, okay. The one that you least use in the laboratory for observation. Tongue, Simon Ibrahim, thank you. I think that the tongue is the one that you least use. Uh, you, before you taste anything in the laboratory, you have to be very sure that that thing that you are testing is what it is, not what it seems to be. But the other, please, can you be like that? Okay, I'll try and make my plan. But the other sense organs, you use them for observation in the laboratory and even outside the laboratory. The eye, the skin, the air, but your tongue only when you are very sure of it, okay? And after observation, you ask questions. When you ask question, you now try again to try to answer that question by yourself. That is what is called hypothesis. After the hypothesis, you now test the hypothesis using some steps like you know, setting up experiment. You now involve uh, type two, aim, apparatus, method, uh, diagram, observation, conclusion, and so on. That's the power of observation in man. The third one is that human were able to carry out measurements. We can determine the size or amount or degree of something, and we can even compare them using some standard units. We measure length, we measure mass, we measure weight, we measure time, we measure temperature, we measure volume. And each of these quantities that we measure have their different instruments. Uh, Length. What are the instruments for measuring length? I'm waiting for your answers now. Measuring length. 
Yeah. Uh, meta, meta is the unit, but ruler, thank you. So what do you say, ruler? Meta, Farida, meta is the unit, Christian, ruler, thank you. Meta rule, Moshu, thank you. Okay. T square, I see ruler, measuring tape, that's the second one. Okay. All right, so we have them now. For length, we have meter rule or measuring tape. Time, uh, before we put them to explain, time. Farida, time, you said second, that's the unit. Clock, uh -huh. Jamel, clock, thank you. Senna, clock, Ronaldo, clock. Stopwatch, Alima, thank you. Shogbamu, stopwatch, thank you. Senna, watches, clicking and read watches, thank you. Stopwatch, okay. Thank you. So those are what are used to measure time. But the unit of time is second. Mm -hmm. Let me take one more quantity. Volume. So I might say height. Okay, height is another quantity that can be measured. Yeah, you are right. Okay, we say measuring cylinder. Thank you. Say now measuring cylinder. Alima measuring cylinder. Christian measuring jaw. You are right. Must shoot measuring cup. Mm -hmm. Yes, cannot be careful. Tank. Sama Ibrahim said tank. Uh, tank is a container. It's more of a container that, uh, than a measuring instrument. Measuring cup. Papet, thank you. Twenty, thank you very much. Woo! Praise. What do you use the meter to measure? <laughs> measure. Okay, I, I think I've seen the two answers. I will now show you. Measure the cylinder, papet, and burette. Has somebody else measured for? Uh, someone said thermometer. Thermometer is not used to measure volume. Thermometer is used to measure what I'm waiting. What is thermometer used to measure? I'm waiting. Temperature, thank you, Ruke. Yeah, thermometer is used to measure temperature, thank you. So, but to measure volume, we have measuring cylinder, we have perfect, and we have correct. Okay, now, uh, if human, we are this intelligent, we are this uh, unique, Let's see this now. Mm. Let's compare human intelligence and put it side by side with artificial intelligence. Human, you, Moshud Lawal, Praise, Nicole, Sama, Moshud Abalik, all of us human. Then computer on this side. Mm. Women are fallible. Do, do, you know do you know that there is this saying that a computer does not make a mistake. That it is what you feed into the computer that the computer gives back to you. Garbage in, garbage out. But that is not for human. Then have limited knowledge basis. What you don't know, you don't know. What you don't know, you don't know. Okay. The information process of serial nature proceeds very slowly in the brain as compared to computer. The, process, the computer can process faster. If, if you ask a computer 22,000 multiplied by 22,000 multiplied by 22,000, before you put your hand away, the computer is ready to tell you the answer. But for human, the processing takes a very slow process. And before you know it, you now get it. Okay. Humans are unable to retain large amount of data in memory. That's unlike the computer. Okay, before we come back to the assignments where we have the question, I have this for us to take together. Okay, they are here now. I will make it bigger. Okay, 
I hope this is big enough for you to see. Okay, so you type your responses in this because oviparo animals uh, do they lay eggs? That's a don't give birth to young ones, no longer exist on earth, give birth to their young ones alive. None of these. I'm waiting for your responses. Repeat. Okay, I should repeat. Sir, please repeat. Okay, that which oviparous animal, which of these is correct about them? So they say they give back to their young ones alive. Okay. RG, sir, please repeat. Oviparous animals. What animals are referred to as oviparous? Can you see the question on the screen? Okay. No, no, that's for your assignment. I got some people trying to travel into that already. But this is the one I want us to solve together now. Ophiros animals. A, lay eggs. B, don't give birth to young ones. C, no longer exist on earth. D, give birth to young ones alive. E, none of this. Waiting for your responses. Same as says D. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can see the questions now. I'm, I'm good. So, give better. Don't give better. Give better. Okay. 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 So, E S cannot. You say E. None of these. Ah, that's not correct. That is not correct. D is actually the correct answer. For pharaohs, animals give birth to their young ones alive. Okay. Before we go to the next one, I like to ask you this. The animals that do not give back to young, their young ones alive, but rather lay eggs, what are they called? The animals that do not, uh, uh, you, 20, you say bird, maybe that's a sample. Ah, uh, RG, you say reptiles, you give an example. What, uh, uh, Ronaldo, take few of parrots. Uh, no, 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 Oviparous. Sikin, Parida, Oviparous, Rukiwe, Iman, give back to their own. So, okay, that's the answer to this one, no? Okay, you are still talking about this one. King James, Oviparous. Sugbamu, Oviparous. Okay. Mushroom of pharaohs lay eggs. Yeah, thank you. Mushroom, yeah, of the pharaohs lay eggs. Yes, thank you. Of the pharaohs lay eggs. Thank you. Okay, so of the pharaohs animals, they lay eggs. Yeah, they lay eggs. So which one is not correct now? Option A, B, C, D, or E. Sama, you said A, lay eggs. 
okay a a my shoot okay we are rigid okay a yeah a the lay a good the lay a thank you ah okay we say cool blooded this is where I get that from. Lay egg, yeah. Cardi, A, A, A. Thank you, Senna, A, thank you. Okay, then A, yeah. A. Okay, often, often 90% of you are correct saying A, thank you. Then number two now, A, yeah, thank you, Farida. Alima, thank you, Eskano, thank you, Farida. The correct answer is A, Iman, you are right. Alima, Kutuimbu, you are right. Simon, you are right. Okay, number two. The highly developed dash of man enable him to reason. Which one? You see, the eye, the face, brain, body, or arm. Brain. Majid said, "Now brain, Farida, brain, Daniel, brain, Mashid, brain, Jamie, brain, Damien, brain, RC, brain, Kim James." Brain, Iman, brain, Patia, brain, Kadi, Pops, Omena, brain. Okay, so everybody got that. Then the third one is here, and it says, Man is a woman and belong to the class called Man is a mama and belongs to the class called Pisces, Amphibians, Reptiles. If primates, the answer after started coming in. Fatima Umar said, e, You are right. Okay, Sama primate, 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 primate. Absalam. Okay, okay. If you feel otherwise, uh, feel free to say, Okay, yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, all of you got it. That's good. Number four. Mamas feed their young ones with what? Mamas feed their young ones with A cereal, B corn, C herbs, D rice, E milk, E E milk. Why do can somebody say why do can guys keep their baby in their spa post just to keep them warm? To keep them warm. Okay, make, 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 okay, make, 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 thank you, me, thank you, okay, all of you got that too, and the final one, the final one, the final one, number five, the final one, my producer is telling me that I have three more minutes, ability to stand upright or erect is a characteristic of which of these spices, amphibian, reptiles, eat or primates? Okay, don't see. Okay, we Zama, Fatima, Umar, Alima, RC, Katibi, Abdul Majid, Sama, Ibrahim, Adelowo, Hassan, excuse me, King, Mashud. All right, thank you very much. It means you all followed it. You see, you all got that as well. Okay, now to the assignment of the dinner that I finished this topic now. We are done with the study of what makes human unique. We are done. So, and the assignment is here now. Assignment are all mamas primates? Are all mamas primates? Give reasons for your answer. So, you send your answers to, I want to give you my email address now. Adetayo. Adetayo Olufemi. Send your answers to Adetayo Olufemi at yahoo.co.uk. Adetayo Olufemi at yahoo.co.uk. Okay, 
a detalle o lo feble. Yeah, thank you, Rico. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. 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 Y